In today's video, I will discuss three tips for new preschool teachers who are working summer camp in your school. If you're a new teacher looking to make the most of your summer camp experience, you're in the right place. And stick around to the end where I will give you five call and response attention grabbers that you can use with your students for transitions. Stay tuned. The reason why I wanted to, to do this video for teachers who are in a school right now and just moving into the summer part of their program is because you may think that there are things that you don't have to do because the children have been with you for so long. But I do want to offer some tips that you will need to carry through the summer. Also during that time, you may have a situation where there are children who are entering your classroom your summer camp program just for the summer. So they don't know you, they have no idea who the children are or anything. So they are brand new to everything. So it is important that you do these three step, these three tips so that it could be just one cohesive kind of experience for everyone. So with that being said, tip number one is to set clear rules and routines. This is just basically to make sure that everything stays safe and positive in your classroom. Well, you want to make sure that you are consistently reinforcing whatever rules and, and routines that you are setting up for the summer because they may be different than they were during the school year, especially the routines. And this is a way that will provide structure for your, your class and for the summer camp program. So make sure that you are taking time to explain these things. Remember my st my five step process for introducing anything. You can check that video up here so that you can make sure that you are addressing any kind of is um, would be issues in the classroom during this time. The next tip is to manage your transitions and you want to do that effectively. So you want to try to keep your transitions kind of predictable and, and fun. Also your transitions will help you create a calm and positive atmosphere. And you know throughout the school year that transitions can be challenging. So you want to make sure that if you didn't have a good run of them through throughout the year that maybe you want to test some different different things out over the summer with um, the group that you have whether it's a smaller group or just a different group you want to maybe treat this as like a whole new experience so that you can try those things as long as you are making sure that you are maintaining and being consistent with them so use those various strategies to help things run really smooth in your classroom if you're an aspiring preschool teacher or if you're going into your first classroom this school year I have something for you this July, I am holding a first year preschool teacher jumpstart challenge. This challenge is for you if you are overwhelmed with what to do, where to start, how to begin in your classroom, and what you should focus on at the beginning of the school year. So I'll help you with your beginning of the year setup so that you can create a seamless flow to your day that will help you design an effective classroom as well as help your students stay engaged. You'll get examples of routines and procedures, sample schedules, a circle time song, and more. So if you're interested in joining the challenge this summer, go ahead and click the link in the comments so that you can sign up for the wait list and I can give you all the other details about the challenge. Challenge. So I hope to see you there. Tip three is to adjust your expectations. Because it's the summer, you can get a, a little more relaxed. Of course, you want to make sure that you are setting up your structure. And you can do that while maintaining the structure. You're just allowing more flexibility into your day. So for instance, if you are if you have children coming into your classroom, you know that have never met you before, never met the children before, you will have to adjust your expectations because these are children that have never been with you before. So the children that are there will most likely know the routines and you know, with you teaching any other new routines, they'll be probably quicker to like pick them up. However, when you have new children coming into your classroom, there will be a period of adjustment that you would have to make and they would have to make because they're not used to you and they're new to you as well. 
well. So just keep that in mind as you are going through these, these routines and these rules and all of these transitions that these children haven't been with you. So you have to make sure that you are giving them grace to kind of like acclimate to the environment and to, you know, the system that you have created all throughout the year. So with that, you don't want to be so, so hard on yourself or on them because of that. So that's why I mean you're going to have to, you know, adjust your expectations because of that. And you don't know where the, where those children are coming from. You don't know what kind of experience they've had before they are coming into your classroom for the summer. And that sometimes could only be for the summer. So I have a bonus tip and this bonus tip is something that could definitely help you with all three of these tips and that is to maybe set up some type of buddy system in your classroom. So this buddy system is really basically to help those new children coming into your classroom adjust a little more quicker with what's happening. So by by setting them up or by trying to facilitate relationships with the children with the children that are already there that know you and and know the basic foundation of like what your expectations are and, and the rules and the routines and all that stuff you want to set them up with and have them get involved with those children as much as possible because not only that the children that have been with you for a long time they can assist the children in making making good decisions while they are there. So keep that in mind when you are structuring your class and your activities to make sure that you are mixing the groups up so that the children that are new coming in they have children who have been there a long time and can kind of show them the ropes and how things work in the classroom. So as I had stated at the beginning of the video, I do have five call and response attention grabbers that you can use during this summer and beyond and they are going to be put on the screen in just a few seconds but basically call and response so that you so you say something and then the children will respond back to you in a certain way but remember you have to teach the transition or teach these attention grabbers so that they know what you want from them when you do that so for instance one of the things that I will put up on the screen in just a few seconds is macaroni and cheese. So you would say macaroni and cheese and then they would say everybody freeze. So whenever you are ready to make that transition or when you have something to tell them, a direction to tell them, you want to make sure that they're all paying attention. So in order to do that, you would need to use the attention grabber. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw those, those other attention grabbers up on the screen so that you can take a screenshot in three, two, and one. And there you have it. Were you expecting something different? I mean, this is a classroom management channel after all. So yes, these things can be used throughout the whole year. However, I think it's important that these things are reinforced, especially during a time like summer camp because of the shortened time and especially because of the fact that you may be getting in new students just for that short period of time. So that's why I wanted to make sure that we do not forget these things while we are heading into summer camp. So when you establish your rules and routines and manage your transitions and make sure that you are adjusting your expectations, you are well on your way to having and creating a successful camp experience for not only you but for your children as well. Make sure that you catch the next video because that is where I will be sharing some summer camp activity ideas that you can include in the classroom. So until then, I'll see you soon. Bye.